Coleman reporting for KD Chats at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto. I'm here with director Reza Daya. How does it feel to have your music video at the Real World Film Festival? Uh, feels great. Happy to be a part of it. Um, I've been a supporter of Real, Real World for almost actually since it started um, in the city and have had uh, many friends work with the Real World Film Festival, so I've been pretty close to it. So it's actually really cool to be part of it. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about how you met Andrina and started working together. Um, well, people may know me uh, in kind of the hip hop R&B kind of subculture from my, ra I used to have a radio show cool. on Flow. So I know Andrina through that. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, she's an artist that I respect and love her music. So uh, the opportunity to kind of work with her on, on a video was really cool, really exciting. Yeah. And how did you approach uh, making the video and the concept? Is that something you came up with together or did you sort of pitch it to her? Uh, the concept for the video actually came about through another song um, that I had kind of proposed to do a video for and then it kind of worked even better with this song. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, and she loved the idea. It was definitely a challenge like putting it together. Um, we did it independently. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, it, it's like, it takes a little bit more time to do it because you're working with limited budget and you're asking people for favors and stuff like that. But the overall end product is, is really good and we're happy with it and um, it was great working with her, yeah. yeah. What are you hoping that audiences take away from the music video? Um, I just, I just hope they kind of uh, um, relate to the story. Um, I'm really kind of into like the story element more so than the artistic kind of, you know, oh, let's put these cool lights here and do this and like just make like a fun music video. For me, it's more about like the stories. So um, yeah, I, I hope they just take the story that we're trying to tell and um, you know, relate to it and feel something. Like, I just hope they feel something when they watch it. Absolutely. Yeah. And can you speak a little bit to the importance of recognizing music videos as sort of a narrative in a film festival context? Because I think that's sort of a unique thing to real world as a festival. Yeah. Um, yeah, music videos are, are really like short films, you know. The, the same amount of work and planning and production really goes into one um, that's very similar to a short film. Um, so I think it should be recognized and um, I think it's great like seeing seeing it on the big screen is always awesome um, so that's always a, a bonus for you know any filmmaker or, or director to see like you know any filmmaker that's making music videos I'm sure loves movies as well mm -hmm. right so to have like an audience sitting there in the dark where they have to focus and watch every single second right every single edit <laughs> And just really take it in is, is awesome. So I think it's great that they incorporate music videos. And um, I think um, directors and producers of music videos should definitely um, get more recognition overall. Yeah. And where's the best place for us to find out more information on you and the exciting work that you're doing online? Um, well, can't lie, the website is currently under construction. Yes. Um, but the Twitter is a film by Rez. Um, and also our short film, Five Dollars, is on the CBC website under the Canadian Reflections program, so you can find us there. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations and have an amazing time at Real World. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for having me. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto. Almond reporting for Katie Chats at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto. Be sure to check out the brand new Smithy TV app so you can watch all the great Smithy shows on your iPhone. <laughs> oh, those mind reels. <laughs>